Hey everybody, <clears throat> the purpose of this video is to get you guys a uh, free uh, way to construct confidence intervals uh, using any Windows-based computer. I'm sure there are equivalents for uh, Macintoshes too, I just don't know what they are. So um, I'm going to open <clears throat> a program called Paint. I've got a shortcut to it on my uh, desktop here. You can also search for it if you uh, don't have a shortcut for it. Paint and it should uh, launch right up. Here you go. All this is is a very, very, uh, if you want to think of it, it's an extraordinarily simple version of something like Photoshop. It's a, it's a drawing program. And what I want to do for starters is I'm going to find my mouse. There it is. I'm going to select this up here, which is the text tool. And I'm going to just make up two confidence intervals. 14.5% uh, uh, up to about 17.5%. Whoops. And the second one I will make to be how about twenty-three and a half percent up to I don't know thirty-one and a half percent just for just for grids. I mean just to throw two numbers out there or two intervals out there. And you know, again, completely fictitious. <clears throat> um, I'm going to design two graphical confidence intervals around this and show you how to do it. So the first thing you need is a number line. You need a number line. So what I'm going to do is, I, I discovered this one a little while ago. Um, if you open up, oh, you can't see that. I'm sorry. Hang on. If you open up uh, a Google search and search for number line generator, okay, the very first thing that pops up is called the math worksheet site. And I, I this is a pretty, this is a pretty neat thing. If you click on that. It gives you uh, three boxes to fill in, a starting number, an ending number, and an increment value. This is kind of like the histogram set up in the Excel sheet I've given you guys. So looking back, I see uh, 14 and a half to 17 and a half, 23 and a half to 31 and a half. So my smallest value is 14 and a half. My largest value is 31 and a half. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I mean, you can start and stop these things anywhere. I think I'll start it at 14 and go up to 32. And I'll do increments of 1%. And we'll see what that looks like. So math worksheet site. I'm going to start it at 0.14 and go up to 0.32 with an increment of 1, 0.01, actually, for 1%. Okay, and you hit create it, it pops you open. There are your intervals. Those do not look bad at all. I kind of like those. I kind of like those. So that's, that's you now, you now created a, uh, a number line to use. Now they, they, they give you a whole bunch because I think the idea is that teachers use these in cla elementary classes when kids need to do this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the snipping tool. Okay, and if you need to find that again, I find this so useful. I once again keep it on my, uh, on my desktop or on my quick launch bar here, okay. Uh, it's supposed to have launched. Uh, oh, it's over here, I'm sorry, let me bring it over here. Sorry about this, gotta bring it, okay, so here it is. So what it, what it asks you to do is uh, snip the area you'd like to copy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag around the number line, whoo, and then I'm going to right click and copy this, and then in paint, I'm going to drop that line. Here it is right here. There's my number line. Okay. So this is the number line I'm going to build my uh, my uh, confidence intervals upon, just like we did it in class. But we did it in class, we did it by hand. Here we'll do it using technology. So I, I suppose what we should probably do is give some kind of a context for what these things are. So let's, uh, let's call this, just for lack of a better, this is a uh, rate with group A, and we'll call this one rate with group B. I mean, for lack of better, you know, for lack of a better, it doesn't really mean anything. I'm just trying to give it some labels so we can discuss it here. Uh, I like giving my, my number lines titles, so what I'm going to do this is I'm going to put comparative percentages across A and B. I'm going to spell comparative right, I think. Comparative percentages across A and B. A little bit arbitrary. If you don't need to have a title, you don't need to have a title, but there's there's a title for us. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to sketch in here the interval from 
0.145 to 0.175. And the easiest way I found to do this is to come up to the shapes menu up here and select a rectangle and then draw the rectangle starting at 0.145 and moving over to 0.175. And that's a little bit low. See how I came a little bit low here? It should be more towards the middle. You can use the select tool to actually move that nudge it a little bit to the right. That's closer. Okay? So that's that's a confidence interval. It starts at 14.5% and goes to 17.5%. It's not as slick as Excel. I mean, Excel's much slicker because you could just type these numbers in and it would pop out. The, but you have to code it. And I don't, I have not coded that for you yet. 23 and a half to 31 and a half. Same way. You can do 23 and a half. Oops, need to select the rectangle again. 23 and a half. Again, it's a little bit low, so I'm going, to stop, I'm going to stop a little bit shy up at 31 and a half. And then I'm going to use the select tool to bump, to nudge it a little bit. There you go. There you go. Now, at this point, you're done, except for the fact that you haven't labeled anything. But I'll get to that in a second. I like personally adding percentages. Uh, percentages, excuse me. Colors. So I'm going to use the fill tool. And I'm going to select red, and I'm going to fill that rectangle with red, and then I'm going to select green, and I'll fill that rectangle with green. And then if you want, you can make a little a little legend down here. I mean, you might want to do that. You need a little rectangle. Fill that with green. And then at the text tool next to it, put group A. Okay, whoops. Group A. And then you do the exact same thing. Pick the rectangle, but pick it red. Rectangle, or copy and paste the other rectangle and then color it. That's another option. Fill it, and then text group B. Okay, there's a little legend. Okay, at this point, you can select everything you don't need anymore, and then you can move this up to the top here. You know, and there's, I mean, you can, there's a lot of stylistic things you can do. You can put that here. That's fine too. So, but I mean, essentially you're finished. That you are now done with your confidence intervals. You can, you can resize the picture if you want. I mean, that's up to you too. But really in seven and a half minutes, you've now learned how to make a very passable looking confidence interval. Um, if they overlap, uh, you can just put them on top of each other like this, but I don't like that too much. I'd much rather have them kind of sitting kind of over like that if they overlap. So anyway, I hope that helped and uh, we'll catch you in class. Bye.